Good morning, my soccer universe. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the European qualifiers uh, yesterday. I know there were also some African qualifiers uh, that I want to talk. I want to talk about all of them in one big video that I probably will do Monday. So maybe you'll get it Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere there. Um, I think it's worth to keep this a little bit separate uh, because um, to see the bigger picture. And I think they deserve their own video. So we'll start with European qualifiers. I yesterday watched two matches and I don't like that uh, the zone doesn't have a goal zone because it would really help a lot. So I basically have to decide on the game. I don't want to switch around too much uh, myself um, because if I watch a game, I want to be invested in that one. The first game I watched was from the group of England and you can already tell I'm very in England. So England must have won easily. Uh, but the first game I was watched was from that group, uh, Group A, Bulgaria, Montenegro. Uh, yes, my wife is from Bulgaria, we have connections to Bulgaria, so uh, it was a must watch for me. Uh, and also not that uninteresting, I mean Montenegro is one of those teams that can be a little bit dicey and Bulgaria also tries to get up and they played a good Nations League, I thought at least. Um, the stadium, Vasilevsky Stadium, was only sparsely filled as they usually have been as of late, and I find it kind of disappointing. I know I was in 2015, I was I was watching uh, Bulgaria, Italy in the Vasilevsky Stadium, barely 10,000 people there. Yes, it was raining like crazy, but still, um, the games, I think, would deserve to be played in a smaller stadium for a better atmosphere. But the atmosphere was actually not that, that bad, I also have to say. Uh, maybe the microphones were uh, positioned well. What's, what can I say about the game? Uh, Bulgaria dominated mostly the proceedings, but if um, Montenegro was dangerous, they were really dangerous, and they probably had the best chance in the first half, their only chance. Bulgaria had mostly half chances uh, where they couldn't connect. I also thought they should have had a penalty. There was a clear push in the box after a corner kick, uh, but yeah, I guess the referee didn't see it, and so no one. I was looking for that one. Um, second half started right away with a goal for Montenegro, which a beautiful through pass. Uh, the striker goals on, on the outside is seemingly halted and then slams it into the uh, far corner. It was a really, really well uh, struck goal. And from that moment on, it was kind of, oh, this could not go well for Bulgaria, who unfortunately, I mean, I understood the Bulgaria play with green socks. I mean, the white, green, green. I like a white, green, red, but well, Mont Montenegro all in uh, red. It was actually a beautiful jersey matchup, gotta say. Uh, I really like those Bulgaria jerseys. I just wish that the color had some more color to it. But yeah, Montenegro almost would have made a second where a shot just swerved by uh, the goalpost. Um, and Bulgaria really needed some time to get going again. But I always had the feeling it will not come. And then it came uh, through a gift by the referee who judged a foul that was clearly outside of the box to be inside of the box. Penalty in Nedelev makes it 1-1. Uh, in a stoppage time, Bulgaria had a huge chance to get the winner, also swerved. I mean, if that uh, shot goes straight, it lands in the net, but it swerved and went uh, by the post, maybe barely, uh, slightly touching it even. Uh, but then also Montenegro had a chance to win it, which uh, was saved by the goalkeeper. So yeah, ends 1-1. England Czech Republic, that was one of the two games that I was debating whether, whether I should watch England Czech Republic or Portugal Ukraine and I decided on the more competitive game Portugal Ukraine. Uh, talk about that in a second. England just demolished the Czechs, absolutely demolished them. Um, three goals by Sterling, he was also a penalty foul on Sterling uh, that made it 2-0 at halftime. Kane of course converted the penalty in his uh, very extreme way of converting penalties. Um, I think the first goal was really nicely taken by Sterling. I think uh, don't recall now the other two, but I, I was definitely worth watching. And then uh, the fifth goal was a horrible own goal by the Czechs. I mean, it was a shot. I think Hudson Odoi that was saved by the goal goalkeeper, but bounces and off the defender and goes in. Five 0 England. Great start for England. Portugal-Ukraine was the other game that, that I watched and unfortunately it was a very tight, very, you know, scrappy game in a way. Um, I was really hoping for a little bit more, but you know, in the end it made sense. Ukraine is very solid and was uh, Shevchenko really put them in a good defensive position to sit back. 
uh, but they were not, it was not that it was purely defending. They also went forward quite some, um, maybe missing the last touch, which also miss, was missing for Portugal, who either wanted to pass too much or uh, missed the opportunity to pass. It was, they whatever they did, they usually made the wrong decision. And even Ronaldo was a little bit, I, I found a little bit too, um, yeah, egotistically almost. Uh, trying to take on two, three players and uh, either not getting the support and if he got the support, not using that support. So um, it was a little bit disappointing, I think, from Ronaldo. Uh, Portugal would have gotten uh, opener, um, I think, midway through the first half, but was waved off for offside, which was a good call, has to be said. Um, and then, yeah, they couldn't find the breakthrough. They couldn't find it, and in the last 10 minutes, the Ukraine could have well made it uh, a win for them, which sets up the second game in this group uh, for Portugal against um, Serbia to be actually a real uh, must-win. And I think Serbia might play a little bit more offensively than the, than the Ukraine, but the Ukraine is well in this one. I gotta, I, I gotta say, I cannot see Ukraine not qualifying for Euro 2020, uh, either beat the playoffs or through this group. But uh, they had a really solid showing. I mean, it's not exciting, but it's solid. So, yeah. Five goals or a competitive game? I decided for the competitive game. Uh, I really saw it coming that England will make short shrift of the Czechs. The other game in this group 2 1 win for Luxembourg over Lithuania. Luxembourg, I think it was their ninth win in 13 games. They are, they are moving up the ladder a little bit. Uh, I always thought the Fairy Islands are the strongest of the small teams. Maybe it's Luxembourg at the moment. So, yeah, uh, good win for them. Uh, Iceland finally gets back in the win column uh, with a 2-0 over Andorra. Kind of expected, but, you know, after losing four games in the Nations League and a few friendlies as well, was kind of um, what was needed for, for, for them. So Iceland off to a good start. Albania-Turkey was another one that was a tight game where I didn't know. I mean, I maybe I still uh, overvalue Albania from the Euros, uh, that qualifying campaign. But, you know, they are a good team and they have good players in there. Um, I would always rate Turkey higher, but you never know, especially away from home. Turkey usually is a little bit um, iffy. Well, Albania had the better start, but Turkey made the goals and um, it was 1-0 at halftime and 2-0. Wonderful shot by Chalanoglu, which again, Milan player, if they do well, also makes me happy. So 2-0 for Turkey and then France getting a win, of course, in Moldova. So the world champions also off to a good start. I think the first goal by Griezmann was very nicely assisted by Pogba. Then Varane got a goal, Giroud got a typical Giroud goal, make it 3-0 at halftime. France more or less... Um, very much in control of the game, getting a fourth one from Pape in the 87th. But right before the end, Moldova puts one back and uh, it was very highly celebrated. So it was great to see everyone off to the two big boys, France and England, off to a great start. The holders, not so much. Um, as I said, this was a must win against Serbia come, coming up. Uh, and that becomes a must watch, I would say. I'm very interested about that game already. Um, well, let me know which games you watched, whether you agree with my quick assessment of these games. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.